Beyonce sent me a package. Beyonce sent me a package. to my channel if you're new here super special welcome to you i'm so so happy that you're here today specifically y'all know why we're here y'all know why we're here just in case you've been living under a rock beyonce just launched a hair care line and we are going to get into a super super detailed review i'm actually really really excited about it the name of it is called sacred you know like beyonce sacred play on her name thought was very nice very very cute I have to say, this is the first time in a long time that I have been this excited about a new hair product line launch. For obvious reasons, I mean Beyonce. That being said, while I am very excited about this launch, I am not going to be afraid to tell y'all if I don't like these products. I love Miss Beyonce, okay? But as much as I do love her, we are here for one thing and one thing only, and that is to find out the truth. I'm not gonna be afraid to tell y'all the hard, honest truth about these products. If they suck, they suck. I really wanna get into all the details today, so I really wanna sit down and kind of do a little unboxing, show you the products, we're gonna talk about the products, everything that we have here, the ingredients, the pricing, all of that. Like I wanna have like a nice, good, little detailed discussion first, and then of course, we're gonna jump in the shower and put them to the actual test. I have not used them before. So this is gonna be our first time exploring these products together. Really, at the end of the day, I think this video is just to answer one question. Are they worth your coin? So let's start off with some first like really quick expectations. I feel like, first of all, Beyonce put her name on the brand, okay? Beyonce, say crid. I'm expecting quality. She has all the resources, the money, everything and anything she would need to make this absolutely amazing. So my hopes are high. I'm expecting not just products that will just make your hair look good for when you use them, but products that are dedicated to making sure the health of your hair is gonna be nice and popping and taken care of. You know what I mean? Like that quality, quality. I want the fragrance to smell absolutely amazing. I want it to blow me away. And lastly, of course, which we probably all already have seen, packaging gotta be top tier and I think, honestly, Honestly, they have already hit that the tick I did receive the entire collection of everything they just dropped as PR so thank you so much to the sacred team for sending this to me that was beyond exciting let's open her up real quick oh. I mean the visuals, the visuals are visualing which of course like when we think about Beyonce we expect nothing less but first we have their clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub here's the packaging and then this kind of like pops off and then it has one of those nozzles so you can apply this directly to your scalp i don't know if the camera's picking this up but the bottles have like a really nice like texture to them it's really really nice it's just giving like modern contemporary it's giving upscale we also have a hydrating shampoo which i was really really excited to see it has one of those normal flip tops we have a moisturizing deep conditioner this is just like a regular jar with the twist off we also have a reconstructing treatment mask which is like basically how i understand it like a protein mask it's a treatment so it's not like a a conditioner it's not hydrating this is straight up treatment this is the only one that's like in a slightly darker color i guess so you can tell the difference then we have this which looks really really cool really different i personally haven't seen anything like this on the market so it's a fermented rice and rose protein ritual so in the box it actually comes with four treatments in total but it's like two steps so you get four of each step this is what it looks like in here and so it's like a step one which is kind of like a rice water protein mixture type situation and then step two is a silk rinse they also have this which is meant to kind of pair with step one so this is like an empty vessel kind of like a water bottle somebody said use it as a water bottle and honestly it would be the cutest water bottle ever but this fermented rice and rose protein powder will go in here you mix it with some warm water and then you use like the nozzle squirt it all over your hair boom that's step one and then step two you finish up with this silk rinse so i thought that was kind of unique i don't really see 
I mean, I personally have not seen this on the market. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe one or two brands have it, but it's obviously not something that every brand is doing. So I like that. It seems pretty innovative for me. And so that made me happy because I was like, okay, they, they are putting their foot into these products. And then we have two styling products, I guess I would call them. This moisture sealing lotion. Ugh, packaging again. I think this just screws off and then the product comes directly out of the top here. Last but not least, we have a nourishing hair oil. This is definitely giving beehive. Everything about this, the color, even this is looking like a little bit like a hive. Again, super cute packaging. Did I wish we had a gel and a foam so that we could do like a full styling situation and really see what it's giving? Yes, but not very surprised. So that is the full collection. Now, when they launched, y'all, I went through the website and I combed through and I literally went through product by product, looked at ingredients and everything. On a whole, I will have to say I am very happy with the ingredients and let me tell you why. Apparently it took them six years, like for six years they were creating and developing and testing these products before actually now bringing them to the market. That is a good foundation for some quality product. All in all, I am very, 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 very happy with what ingredients they've chosen to put into these products. All of the shampoos are sulfate free. Every single thing is silicone and paraben free. Like they really thought about what we as consumers want nowadays. And they did that. I also have seen that they are doing this patent pending keratin. Hold on, I'm actually gonna get the real name for y'all. So they have a patent pending technology that they're calling a bioactive keratin ferment. And basically keratin is kind of, you can think of it kind of like protein where it's just really there for the intense repair of your hair, which is one of the things that I was hoping to see from this brand is that they're actually caring about the health of your hair and not just trying to make your hair look good. You know what I mean? It is supposed to help restore your hair shine, make your hair two times more resistant to breakage, make your hair two times more smooth. Also supposed to help repair your damage from chemical processing, which is great timing for me because I just did color and I don't think that I have necessarily any damage, but this is possibly great because there has been, even though I don't see any damage, yet my hair has been chemically processed by colors they have actually put this ingredient in every single product except for the clarifying shampoo the fermented rice and rose protein ritual and the moisture sealing lotion every other product says that it has that ingredient in there at least from what i can tell that to me just raises one little thing in my mind because we do have a hydrating shampoo here and a hydrating deep conditioner that you would not necessarily expect to have like a protein presence inside of them. And protein isn't necessarily something you're gonna wanna use in your hair every single wash day. You definitely don't ever wanna overdo it with protein. So that's just something to note that even though it says it's a hydrating shampoo, it does have some sort of repair aspect to it. But all in all, besides that, I didn't really have any other concerns. I think all the ingredients look great. It looks like they've really put a lot of science into this. I also saw on their website that although this product line is actually curated for all hair types it really was kind of formulated for textured hair types first literally on the website it says we started by prioritizing the needs of textured hair like mine and others who lack moisture and strength so yeah bottom line i'm seeing a lot of focus on strengthening the hair repairing the hair and also moisturizing the hair I honestly feel like Sacred is comparable to Briogeo. Both brands are all about the health of your hair. You know the entire Don't Despair Repair line of Briogeo is all about repair. Not just repair, but like balancing it with repair and moisture. And I feel like that's kind of the direction that they've gone in here with these products. And when I was looking at the pricing for Sacred, you're looking at a range of like $30 to $52 for products. That's a very similar range to me uh, with Briogeo, just kind of looking at the prices off the top because I know Briogeo is kind of in that like $30 to $40 range as well. And then it can get higher if you're getting like the bigger sizes. But when you do the calculations, I'm glad to tell you that Sacred products are actually, some of them are actually a little bit slightly more affordable than some Briogeo products. For Sacred, for example, example first off for their clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub it is $38 for this bottle which is eight ounces comparable to this is Briogeo's micro exfoliating shampoo which is also a shampoo scalp and scrub you get their shampoo for $42 also eight ounces 
But then moving on in to our hydrating shampoo with Sacred, it is $30 for an eight ounce bottle. For Briogeo, what's comparable to that is their Super Moisture Shampoo from the Dome Spare Repair line. That you're getting 16 ounces, so you're getting double the amount of product for $39. When you divide it down and do a cost per ounce, for Sacred, you're looking at $3.75 per ounce. For Briogeo, you're looking at $2.44 per ounce. I also did some calculations for the deep conditioner. So Sacred deep conditioner is 10 ounces of product for $38. This brings the price down to $3.80 per ounce. Comparable to this is Briogeo masks. Most of their masks go for $39 for eight ounces, which brings you to $4.88 per ounce. So there we have a little bit of savings on the sacred side. So for the reconstructing treatment mask, we have to remember that this is not a deep conditioner. So I did not compare this with Briogeo deep conditioners. I compared this with the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair, like Protein Plus, Mega Strength Plus, treatment mask that you still have to use a conditioner with because this is one of those treatments that you still have to use a conditioner with. So Sacred gives you this treatment mask for $42 for 10 ounces, which is $4.20 per ounce. On Briogeo side, this is where I see the biggest difference. The Briogeo treatment is definitely more expensive because you're getting a $38 treatment, but only five ounces of it, which brings the price up to $7.60 per ounce. That was the biggest price difference I noticed. And then really quickly with the nourishing hair oil, for Sacred, this is 1.7 ounces for $44. It brings this price to $25.88 per ounce versus Briogeo, they have their Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Hair Oil, and that is priced at $30 for one ounce. So all in all, I am pretty happy with the pricing. I mean, I have been buying Briogeo for a really long time. Yes, I get gifted some stuff, but I also go out there and spend my own coin because I genuinely feel like it's worth it. I love it, y'all know me. In terms of pricing so far, without me using the products, I think the pricing seems fair for the quality ingredients, the science that they put behind it. I'm actually really, really glad that they did not come out with like $50 shampoos and stuff. I'm so, so glad that it's not like a luxury hairline. It's more of that like mid tier that I think a large amount of people will still be able to afford if they really want it. I am very, very excited to dig in and finally give these a try. I haven't even like properly smelled them yet. I think I'm gonna wait for the shower for the vibes to really get into all of the scents and fragrances. For my wash, I think I'm gonna go in with the hydrating shampoo. I am very intrigued by this fermented rice and rose protein ritual situation. So I think I'm gonna try that. Then after that, we're gonna follow up with the moisturizing deep conditioner. And I guess I will style my hair as usual and then kind of fluff her out with the nourishing hair oil. We're gonna use this in a separate video. I just wanna know that if I use my regular stylers that I know and love, I want to know that the wash products will not throw off that routine that I know is already bomb for me. So the sacred wash products with my regular stylers is what we're gonna do today. I want to explore this moisture sealing lotion though, definitely for sure, just not yet in this video. So future videos, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out because we're definitely gonna be um, exploring some of these other products. Purr! Okay, boom, that's the game plan. So let's do this, I'm gonna be in the shower. We're about to jump straight in, going in with the hydrating shampoo first. I am so excited to see how it smells. Smell is very nice. It smells like, it's like a fresh, sweet smell, a little hint of honey. But I'm glad they didn't like overdo it with the honey because I actually do not like the smell of honey on me, in my hair. That's the reason why I actually didn't buy the Beyonce perfume because I do not like the smell of honey on me. So the scent is not overpowering, which I really, really appreciate. I thought that we were gonna get a little bit more, but maybe, you know, fragrance always isn't always like the best ingredient when it comes to like the health of your hair. So maybe that's why they kept it like so lightweight and pretty chill with the fragrance. So from a hydrating shampoo, I always like to be able to detangle on my cleansing step. So let's see if we can do that. I do like that it has this really nice rich lather to it, especially when you add a little extra water. It definitely feels really nice and rich and highly cleansing for sure. Look at this, look at this. Yes, lather, okay. It doesn't feel like there is a huge 
amount of slip in this, but the detangling still is possible. I don't feel like I'm pulling my hair out or breaking it off. Just taking my time and slowly detangling with the shampoo. It definitely does not have the most slip ever. I feel like there's more slip after you detangle, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah, this section feels really good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The magic of the shampoo happens when you wash it out. My hair actually feels so nice and moisturized right now. It actually feels soft. So far, the shampoo is doing its thing. You guys, this is a really solid hydrating shampoo. Really cleansed my hair, has a really nice, beautiful, rich lather. I was still able to go through and detangle my entire head of hair with the shampoo and rinsing it out. My hair feels really good, like really good. Even though I do wish it had like just a teensy bit more slip, but it, it got the job done. Next, we are digging into this ritual, y'all. I am, I'm really intrigued by this. Like I explained earlier, there are two steps. So step one is a powder. It's fermented rice and rose protein powder. So on the back, it says to fill a bottle, which we have that vessel with 24 ounces of warm water. And then we empty this packet in there, give it a good shake until it's fully dissolved. And then we slowly just pour the rice water over my head. It says to fully saturate your hair and then let it sit for five minutes before then fully rinsing it out until the water runs clear. And then after that, we follow up with step two. I really have a whole ass measuring cup in here because I didn't want it to be like, oh, I didn't use enough water or I used too much water. I wanna get that exact 24 ounce in here to make sure we're using this correctly. All right, so this is two cups, which is 16 ounces. So we just need eight more ounces to get to 24. Math. And FYI, according to my measuring cup, 24 ounces is equal to three cups. Now I'm pouring all the powder in there. And then I'm gonna put the flat top on top and then just shake her up. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that is fully dissolved. I'm gonna now switch to the nozzle cap and then it says to literally just saturate your hair with it. I, I don't know if I should section I'm gonna section. The instructions don't say to section, but I'm, I'm gonna section because I, I, I know my hair. I know my hair and the whole middle part of my hair will not get any of this product if I don't section. So I'm just gonna do two halves. And just squirt it right on top, okay? I love that they have this vessel available because it makes it so easy with the nozzle attachment to just pour it right on. On to the next. I do underneath first. Really making sure we get in here. This literally feels like, oh wait, I think there was still some powder in there. That's fine. So it literally feels like just pouring water on your hair. Right now my hair just feels nice and wet. <laughs> I'm very, very curious to see what this does for my hair because it's supposed to make it less prone to breakage, more shiny, like all the good stuff that you ever want in your hair. And then this is a treatment that you're meant to use like once in a blue moon, like every four to six weeks or so, or as needed even. Ooh, wait. I feel like something's happening. My hair feels good. It doesn't feel stringy or anything. And it's actually very possible that because I just recently colored my hair a couple weeks ago, this may actually be something that my hair may have needed. Just a little extra TLC. Look, like the curls are defining, which they do that when they're happy. You know what I mean? So, so far this is very, very, very interesting. I was low key expecting my hair to feel a little straw-like because with all this protein that we're using, but it doesn't. My hair does still feel nice and soft. So next we're supposed to follow up with step two. So this is called the silk rinse. I'm gonna section out my hair in halves again. This smells really good. Ooh, it has like a really nice, like milky kind of texture. It's a little sticky. Ooh, this feels nice. I said to just apply it right in and kind of rake it through your hair. I feel like this is the product that's gonna give us a little extra shine. Like I can just, I feel it. No, literally, wait. 
Do you see that? The shine? I feel like step one was like treat and strengthen and step two is like silken and shine. Like look at that. Shiny, 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 yeah. <laughs> Had to. All right, let's, oh! oh no, some of it went on the floor. Okay, let's get the second half of product together. Just gonna add that last extra bit directly to these ends. That is our oldest piece of hair. So anytime you can give your ends a little extra love, you absolutely should. I think my head, my full head of hair is actually saturated enough with what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead, clip it up, and leave her in for five minutes again. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm just seeing some extra shine here. And it's getting me a little excited. I feel like I went into each product like, okay, let's prepare to be disappointed. And so far, everything is just doing what it says it would do. And I, I'm loving that. I'm gonna save my final thoughts for the very end of this video, but I will say, so far, so good. I'm really excited to dig into this deep conditioner now. So here she is. The jar is just so pretty. So this is a moisturizing deep conditioner. Let's get into this consistency. Oh yeah. She is a thick girl. This has like a similar scent to the shampoo. What I expect from like a nice hydrating deep conditioner is for it to just feel really nice and silky in my curls. I mean, yeah, what, what more can I ask for than that? I wanna feel the hydration as I'm applying it. I'm gonna do this much. It's just, the texture of it is really nice because it's thick, but it's still really silky and like creamy. I like that. Some like overly thick deep conditioners can be very just feel very bland and I feel like it just sits on top of your hair instead of actually doing something. But this texture kind of feels like it will penetrate inside your hair and do what needs to be done. Okay, off the bat, she needs more slip. The texture of this actually reminds me of the texture of like a protein mask. It's not as, it doesn't glide as easily through the hair as I thought it would. Yeah, like it's not as juicy as I thought it would be. Even though it is a hydrating deep conditioner, it does have that ingredient I was telling you about, their patent pending bioactive keratin ferment, which is like protein and repairing and all that stuff. I think maybe I would have liked if they did the deep conditioner without that, so we could just get pure moisture, pure slip, pure just juicy deliciousness and leave like the bio keratin ferment stuff for the actual reconstructing mask that they did launch as well. I'm just realizing that literally every single product that I use today has that bioactive keratin ferment plus on top of actually doing like the special rice and rose protein ferment treatment. Um, so this is a very I would say high protein wash. The curls are defining. That's one thing about a protein wash. You are gonna get curl definition. The curls are going to act right. Um, but again, like I said, you always wanna make sure you're still having that balance. You don't wanna just hear that and be like, oh my God, I'm only using protein washes because there is protein overload. Your hair will be brittle and it, your hair will snap very, very easily if you have a protein overload going on. So I, I hope we haven't overdone it today. She does have a regular conditioner on the website that's just blacked out. I think that's gonna be the next product to launch. It's just a regular conditioner, not a deep conditioner. I don't know whether or not the regular conditioner is going to have that bioactive keratin ferment in it. I am hoping to see that it doesn't so that we can have something without it to make sure we're not doing too much on the keratin, on the protein, on all that stuff, you know? But yeah, like you can see, bro, this almost looks like a styling product in my hair, the way it is defining these curls. So I just thought of something. So if Beyonce is the one who really developed these products over the last six years, I could see why she would need repair in every single step because her hair 
is so, so color treated. And when you treat your hair with color, it lifts your cuticles up. When your cuticles are up, that's when you need things like protein, bond products, even products sometimes with silicones to help lay that cuticle back down. Hair can become like smoother again. So I could see why this bioactive keratin for men would be that hero ingredient, especially for someone like Beyonce who has hair that has been color processed and heat treated and all that stuff. Her hair has been through some things, okay? Especially if it's been her natural hair that she's been wearing all these years. Not all these years, but like at least most recently for her essence shoot and everything, like we've been seeing her rock a little bit more of her natural hair. If her hair is going through all that, I could see where that would be beneficial. Where this may be too much is for someone who has pure virgin hair, not treated, doesn't straighten, doesn't use heat, nothing, and it's low porosity, I could see how using all of these products all together could probably be a little bit too much protein. My hair was recently color processed, which might be why it's kind of feeling really good in my hair overall. Again, I still feel like the deep conditioner could use more slip, but overall, I think my hair is eating this stuff up. Anyways, Here's how we're looking. Deep conditioner has been fully applied, but now that it is like fully distributed, it does feel good. My hair feels good. My curls, I could just tell this is about to be a high curl definition wash. They say to leave it in not longer than 30 minutes and for best results to add heat. So I'm just gonna crank up the heat in here, let the steam in here add the heat or whatever while I finish up my shower. And then I'm gonna rinse out and style my hair. Okay, so it's been about like seven to 10 minutes. I just finished up the rest of my shower and the deep conditioner is still in and it feels really good. I feel like after sitting in my hair for a little bit, it's like actually penetrating the shaft. My hair feels so good. It feels like products that are doing something and not just sitting on top of your hair or not just like there and then rinsed out. And then once they're rinsed out, it's gone you know what i mean um, i don't want to get ahead of myself because i do not want to make any final opinions until styling is done and my hair is like fully dry but i have to say so far like my hair just feels really really good so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out fully and then i'm gonna style with our og combo that we know my hair loves we know this works with my hair so that if there are any mishaps with my hair we know for sure it's not these two, it's something else that we used. So it's gonna be the Brio Geo Gel first, and then on top, I'm gonna to do a little bit of Miss Do Mousse Def Foam Styler. I just freshly finished styling. Hair's looking a little foamy, don't mind that. It disappears on its own. Um, I did notice a difference in my hair when styling. It was a little more silky. I felt like my hair was a little more silky. It was slightly easier to manage and just like a little extra juicy. I was so excited that I did also forget to mention that I noticed less shedding when styling. I shed like normal during the wash, but I usually shed a little bit more during styling, but this time shedding during styling was extremely minimal. I don't, I don't know y'all. I did not expect to feel much of a difference, but I honestly feel like I honestly think the treatment, the rice water treatment that we did has done something special here today. These are, I just wanted to share my initial thoughts after styling, but I don't know y'all. Right, guys, it is the next day. I have some thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts, but before we get into final thoughts and everything, we still need to dig in to our last product of the video, which is the nourishing oil. So let's do that first. I made sure to keep my scarf on for y'all because this is the number one question I get all the time. How do you go to sleep with your hair? And this is it. This is it, da -da -da. I think I will still at some point maybe do like a dedicated video to like nighttime routine. Although I do just keep it really, really simple. It's literally just this, a nice silk scarf. And then for my ends out here, I just sleep on top with this on a silk pillowcase. So this is really what works for me. I love, y'all know me, I love to keep my routines nice and simple, sweet to the point, easy. Um, and this has been working really, really well for me. So in the morning, I literally just take her off and shake her out. Ooh! You guys, okay, wait. The scent has really, 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 really grown on me. I didn't not like it, but I guess I, it just wasn't what I was really expecting. But like the scent actually really stayed in my hair. Like when I do this, you can smell it. You can smell it and it smells, oh my gosh, I actually really love the smell. It's just giving luxe, it's giving fresh, it's giving like just vanilla cashmere almost. I mean, I could be completely wrong. I'm the worst at describing fragrances, but just know that I like it. It's it's giving luxe. It smells really good. So 
let's dig into this nourishing hair oil. I have tweezers here because I have seen that video on their website where they have like a stopper at the top to make it really nice and secure. Oh, there you go. And so without the stopper, you can see there's just like a big hole there. So I am just gonna drop some of this in my hands. It smells so good too. So I do have a cast in my hair. And by the way, before even putting oil in it, do y'all see the shine? Do y'all see the shine in these curls? Not super huge normally on using oils in my routine, but lately because I've been styling for more definition since my hair is longer, I have been drying with more of a cast, which means I have been reaching for oils more often. And the fact that this one is silicone free actually makes me really happy. Just finishing my hair off with this oil. Not only like I'm sure we're gonna get a little extra shine, but like also the smell, the smell. <sighs> You know what? I don't even feel the need to wipe my hands on a piece of paper towel or anything. That's how lightweight this oil is. It feels really, really nice. Like it's not super heavy. The shine is what's getting me. These wash products did something above and beyond for my hair. It looks good. It feels good. It feels very soft, very balanced. My hair. Are y'all seeing this shine? I am just, it's overcast outside. I'm literally just filming in front of a window. So there's no like special studio lights or anything happening here. The shine of my hair is insane. I feel like yesterday when I was washing with these products, I was looking so hard for something to be wrong with these products. I think because my expectations were so high that I was like, it can't possibly be that amazing but honestly sacred is bomb y'all sacred is when i tell you what i like about this brand is the products are effective and you can feel it happening when you're using it in your hair y'all know that's one of the reasons why i love briogeo as a brand i've loved them for so long because they are so dedicated to making sure that they're packing their products with ingredients that are genuinely going to help to improve the health of your hair and sacred is right up there for me like right up there where I feel like I, I can feel the difference when I'm using these products. Even though we didn't even use a styler today, I can feel the difference. I do still stand by wanting a little bit more slip in the hydrating deep conditioner. I feel like I cannot find one bad thing about all the other products. I do have a favorite, Miss Ritual, Miss Ritual. Hello, if there is one product that I would say I felt like was actually a little bit life-changing for me, it's gonna be this. What's it called again? It's the fermented rice and rose protein ritual that comes in here, the one with the step one and step two, where you gotta mix it in the vessel. I genuinely feel like that treatment is the reason for us having all of the shine that we have right now. I mean, of course, like styling products have to do with that a little bit as well, but my hair is just feeling a little extra shiny. It's feeling a little extra healthy. It's feeling extra balanced, extra moisturized. Like I feel like my hair is just a little bit extra better today. If you're thinking about spending some money and purchasing some products from Sacred, first of all, I highly recommend. I also think they're priced amazing. I think you're getting exactly what you paid for and then some. Like you are getting quality, effective ingredients. I would say, especially for the girl who feels like her hair is off. You color treat your hair, if you use heat on your hair, any of those kind of things, if you feel like your hair is in need of a little extra repair, I 1000% recommend this line. My thing is, I am hoping at some point that we do get a little bit more from Beyonce. If you do some research online, technically Beyonce is not even the CEO. She is the founder of Sacred, but she's not the CEO of Sacred, so she's not running it. The woman who is running it though, has been running things in the hair industry for a long time. Her name is Grace Ray. She used to be the CEO of Living Proof. So my girl Grace is not new to this. She is true to this. She's been in this industry for a while. And so I really just have high hopes. Super excited to see how they're raising the bar for the hair industry in general, especially for us textured hair girls. I really hope that even though I know Beyonce is not necessarily gonna be involved in the day-to-day -day things, I really hope that we do see her a little bit though, a little bit more more involved in like tutorials and stuff same way like Rihanna does for Fenty it would just be amazing to see a little bit more details on Beyonce's natural hair and seeing the products 
work on her natural hair just i think that would go a really really long way so yeah bottom line i love it i think it's absolutely worth your coins the products were effective they worked really well in my hair i honestly feel like i have improved results my hair feels amazing it's balanced it's shiny it's beautiful it feels delicious and i will be continuing to use them i am looking forward to trying out the other three products that i didn't use in this video but especially this moisture sealing lotion based on how well yesterday went I am very excited to try this. Let me know in the comments below how you want me to do it. Do we do like a braid out or a twist out? Or do you want me to incorporate this into a wash and go and see what wash and go results can look like with this and maybe with like a gel on top or like a foam on top or something? Let me know what y'all wanna see. I really hope to see them launch some stylers soon because ooh, if the wash products are this good, my hopes for the stylers are even higher. I want to see a good quality gel that's not just gonna be thick and weigh your curls down. I want to see a juicy, nice, delicious gel that's gonna change my life. I wanna see a foam that can rival the Dew Mousse Death Foam Styler. I want to get into these stylers, so I'm really hoping they're getting ready to launch those next. Hey guys, 12 out of 10 recommend. I'm so happy that this was actually amazing. The products were amazing, the hype is real. And I, I'm sorry, I did want to come here and tell you that you could save your coin on something, but this is not the thing to save your coin on. This is going to be worth every penny if you decide to get it. As usual, everything I used is linked in the description box below. And if you have any additional questions for me, go ahead and meet me in the comments. You can definitely chit chat a little bit more there. This was so much fun and so excited. Special thank you to the Sacred team again for sending me these products. I'm forever grateful and so excited and I'm looking forward to your stylers, girl. Yeah, guys, love you so much. I will catch y'all right back here, same time, same place for another video. Bye.